Hey there Groundhogs Garage viewers, my name is Jim, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a tool review for you. Um, let's call this Groundhogs Garage Porch Tool Review. So, um, I was changing the oil, or I was trying to change the oil filter on my Pontiac Grand Am. And uh, <laughs> this is... This is the end product. It probably took me five hours to get this off. Um, so I'm going to go through the steps that it took me to get this off and the tool that I finally used to do it. And I hope you stick around. So let's start at the beginning. Oil filter wrench. Um, I think this is a Lyle product. It's actually got some uh, weld uh, thingies inside here that give it some extra grip so it doesn't slip on the can. And it did not slip on the can, but it was so tight that, which is good, but the can wouldn't give up and it just collapsed it. So, with that, I went down to the next size that I had, which is a performance tool. Um, it did not have the little weld marks, but it did not matter. Um, it wasn't going anywhere. I couldn't get enough leverage on this. But let me change that. I could get enough leverage on this. I ended up using this. But this was going to break. So I stopped that. So I went on to the next tried and true method. And... Uh, <laughs> So, needless to say, let's see, perforated a couple holes in the side, go through the other side, and I uh, gave it everything I had short of bending the screwdriver, and it didn't work, so I got this, but this did not fit. So, I tried this sticking a threaded rod in there but you can see what happened there this isn't very strong then I tried to jam this through and I was like nah because this is hardened steel and I was like nah there's got to be a better way so I made a homemade doohickamajiggy took a piece of little piece of steel put some nuts through it that got bugs out here and uh, it put a bolt on the other side and it actually worked okay but look what it did to the bottom of the can can you see where it actually was tearing through the metal until it eventually just snapped these two ends off so I called it a night that was yesterday so today I went on to Summit Racing's website and did a little YouTube and uh, you know while I was personally frustrated I've never experienced that much trouble getting an oil filter off never and uh, but after going on YouTube apparently it's a deal and um, could be a variety of reasons somebody put it on too tight didn't oil the filter gasket you know whatever on for 10 years um, so I went on Summit Racing's website and you know they got 10 pages of oil filter tools and um, I came up with these two choices to try. This was a one and it's just a strap on like a socket and as you tighten it up it tightens up the strap and it helps you get the filter off. I didn't get around to trying that because the one that I did use actually did the job. This is the one I use, and I believe this is a Lyle tool as well. I'll put the uh, part number and description in description down below where you're going to click on subscribe because you like this video so much. So this, it opens up, and it's pretty much universal. So you put it on there, and as you, as you uh, go to loosen it, it tightens this up and clamps onto the can. Now there was a guy in the reviews that said this actually tore the can. And uh, I got to tell you, um, that we'll get there. So I started with this. 
put this on here, not enough leverage. So I thought, well, instead of breaking this, got my breaker bar out, put it on here, <laughs> so couldn't get it loose. So this, this, and this finally got it to turn. Finally. It took, and honest, honestly, it took a good half to three-quarter turn before I could even get to the point where I could use my ratchet to get it off the rest of the way. It was that tight. Um, so, highly recommend that. I don't know if you even, if you buy this, if you even need all that other stuff. This, this was awesome. It's very, very thick steel, probably hardened. Um, I, it's very simple. The only thing that I didn't really like is that you see right here, the, the end of the extension doesn't go in all the way. It only goes in about halfway. So that's the only downside. Now they had another one that had like a socket on the end here so that you would have enough room for the extension to go in. But they didn't have it in stock. So I bought this one. And this wasn't 11 bucks maybe. So, I wanted to let you know about this because there were a lot of YouTube videos of stuck oil cans, oil filters. So, it's obviously a problem. So, hopefully, um, again, like I said, it, I spent hours, a lot of frustrating hours, <laughs> getting that oil filter off. So, hopefully this helps you. Um, if you enjoyed this video, it's a short video. Um, it doesn't take a long time to, to review an oil filter wrench. So if you like this video, click down on the subscribe button. Uh, I got lots of videos on my computer that just need edited. They'll be coming here soon. Um, just been busy the last couple weeks, but uh, I, haven't, I haven't stopped posting videos. And uh, hopefully if you like it, you subscribe, smash that like button. And turn on your notifications and hopefully we'll see you soon. Hey, share some of your stories down below. I'd love to hear it because honest to gosh, five hours. And and this wasn't, I mean, this is bad. This is the worst one I've ever done. But watching some of the vid other videos, there were some, and I saw there's another tool. Uh, it wasn't on Summit Racing's website, but I saw it. I think there's a YouTube video. The guy had made a spanner, adjustable spanner wrench for this kind of stuff because you can take the can off. Because I meant because I would imagine eventually the metal just all tears off, and you get a spanner that fits these holes right here from the bottom side, and then you can twist this off as well. But when I took this off, this gasket was bone dry, so it was obviously stuck to the adapter for the oil filter. So, uh, hope this doesn't happen to you because it was a pain. If you're putting an oil filter on, hand tight, maybe a quarter turn with a wrench after that, maybe. I don't know that you even got to do that. So, uh, <laughs> good luck <laughs> if you I feel your pain. Here, I'll show you how this works. You open it up. Like that. Can you see that? And if I had got this before the can was crushed, it'll work even better. I didn't see any eminent sign of the fact that this was going to tear the metal, but this is a Napa Gold. If this had been a Napa 10, it might have tore through the metal. All right. Have a great evening.